What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronic. So I'm going to be showing you how to set custom ringtones and notification sounds on your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. So this is a great way to customize your phone. I'm going to do ringtones first because it's a lot easier than notification sounds. But anyways, we need to head into our settings. Then you want to click on sounds and vibration. Then just head into the ringtone option. It looks like it's like the fourth or fifth one down. And right now I don't have anything custom. If you wanted to add your own ringtone, uh, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you have some music on your phone. You'll see the ad in the top right hand corner. Click this. Then it'll pull up any albums or songs you've already you know installed. So I've got a couple Drake songs on here. All you got to do is hold down on it. Then you want to click done and then it'll set that as your ringtone. It's really that easy. So just click the add button, right? Um, anyways, notification sounds. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to be a little bit trickier, but you can get it done if you just follow along with me here. So notifications, click on it. And then, I'm sorry, wrong one. Click on sounds and vibration. And then you want to click on notification sounds. So the big problem here is that there's no add button in the top right hand corner, which I know is super frustrating. They should just make this a lot easier. So in order to get your own like custom notification sounds, we need to head over into the Samsung app section. So you're gonna have these different Samsung apps. The one we need to be focusing on right here is gonna be the My Files option. So click on this little, little baby right here and then you wanna click on internal storage. All right, so as soon as you get an internal storage, you're gonna have a notifications folder. So you're gonna notice there's nothing in it, it's completely empty. The whole thing we need to do right here is we need to move any songs we've already installed into that folder. Um, so that could be in the download section on your phone. For me, I've got some in app VN, so I'm just gonna head in here. So uh, as soon as you found the, the song files you've downloaded in uh, you know wherever they were, um, what you wanna do is just get to them. They'll come up as ringtones. now. This is what you need to do. Hold down on the song, okay? And then you're gonna see uh, this little like try option right here with the three digits. You wanna click move. Okay, and then you wanna go to internal storage and then you wanna find that notification uh, folder and move it inside there. All right, so click done and then let's go back and make sure we put that song in the notification folder. All right, so let's scroll down here. All right, cool. So you can see it's in there. Now let's go back into our settings. Let's check out the notification sound section and see if uh, you know that song actually moved itself. Okay, so we've got sounds of vibration, notification sounds, and let's see if it's in here. Oh, there it is right there. All right, find your love, Drake. So we did it. All right, so that's all you guys got to do. It's really that easy. Like I said, um, you know, a uh, little bit trickier on the notification sound part, but the ringtone's pretty easy. Just follow along with me if you need to do that. Now, anyways, uh, I haven't done too many how-to videos with this S9. That's why I'm trying to get some in. And I think this is a great way to customize your phone if you guys are, you know, using any kind of like boring notification sounds that are pretty awful from Samsung or you need to switch up that ringtone. If you could hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate it. Anybody out there that's not subscribed, hit that subscribe and we'll see you guys later.